Hi, for this video, I'm going to show you how to find the maximum revenue. Um, suppose a manufacturer has found that the revenue R when the price is P dollars can be modeled by the function R of P equals negative 8 P squared plus 56,000 P. When you're looking at this function, a lot of times in the real world we deal with um, revenue functions or cost functions. Um, when you're looking at them, you want to look at what kind of model that you have. In this case, because we have a P squared, this is telling us that we have a quadratic model. And a quadratic model will have a maximum um, price at the vertex. So this is just an application of finding the vertex um, of the quadratic function. So we would just use the equation negative B over 2A comma F of negative b divided by 2a, where the negative b over 2a would represent the unit price, and the f of negative b over 2a would represent the maximum revenue. So the first question that they ask is what unit price would maximize revenue? So we're simply looking for the x coordinate of this one. Okay, so for this particular one, we're going to be just looking for this x coordinate. So to do that, what we're going to do is look at our equation. Remember that a is going to be our leading coefficient of our quadratic term, and b is always the term in front of the linear, including the, si the sign, so this would be positive 56,000. We know that this is a maximum because the negative leading coefficient tells us that our graph opens downward. So for the first question A, all we're going to do is plug it into the negative B over 2A formula. So our B term would be negative 56,000 divided by 2 times negative 8. Okay, and when we simplify this, we do end up with $3,500. So that is the price of whatever particular product we are talking about right here. Okay, so that's the price to make um, this particular product. So we could say that the maximum revenue occurs when the price is $3,500. So maximum revenue occurs when the price is $3,500. So the next question that they ask us is, what is the maximum revenue? So remember that the maximum revenue is just the y coordinate of the vertex. So we're simply going to use the same information that we're given. We're gonna find this part right here, and we're gonna plug it into our R of P equation. And I know that I put F up there, it's typically because that's the X coordinate, so I should replace this with P. Um, and anyways, it just is telling that I could replace this with R, but it's the same formula. Um, so we would just plug in our X coordinate, or our, um, in this case, the unit price. So the maximum revenue, um, we would just plug in, we would find R of 3,500. So that tells us that we're going to plug in negative eight times 3,500 squared plus 56,000 times 3,500. And I had already plugged this into your calculator. You would just take and plug this into your calculator. Um, I already found this and it ends up being um, $98 million. So this would be our maximum revenue. So the maximum revenue is $98 million when the unit price is $3,500. This is important because sometimes if you charge too much, if the price goes up too much, um, then the revenue will drop because a lot of people can't afford it. If the price is too low, you don't make as much. So with this, in order to maximize, you would just find the coordinates of the vertex of the given quadratic equation. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.